Hey guys, Mrs. Klein here. How are you? This is May week seven, day three. For those of you that have the story, The Smelly Skunk, let's go ahead and look at that story now. A smelly skunk. <clears throat> By the way, my dog's eating behind me, so if you can hear him, I'm very sorry. Mr. Lee took his dog for a walk. His dog was dark brown. His name was Hunter. Mr. Lee and Hunter walked along a path. The path was a field. Mr. Lee took off Hunter's leash. Hunter ran and jumped. Suddenly, Hunter zoomed into the tall grass. Mr. Lee could not see him. Hunter, he called. Mr. Lee walked into the tall grass. He heard a strange sound. He stopped and noticed a terrible smell. He looked down as a skunk ran off. The skunk had sprayed Hunter. Oh, Hunter, called Mr. Lee. It's bath time for you. All right, if any of you have ever had your dog get sprayed by a skunk, I bet you can relate to how Mr. Lee felt. I bet it stinks really bad. My dog has never been sprayed by a skunk before, but I obviously know from, um, when you're driving and somebody has hit a skunk, how bad it stinks. So we all know the stinky smell. <clears throat> I can't imagine having that all over your dog's fur. <clears throat> okay, who is Hunter? A, a cat, B, Mr. Lee's dog, or C, a skunk? Good job, guys. You listen to the story. It is Mr. Lee's dog. Good work. Number two, in which place did Hunter get sprayed by the skunk? A, in Mr. Lee's home, B, in tall grass, or C, on the path? Yes, he was in the tall grass. Good job. At the end of the passage, Mr. Lee notices a strange smell and realizes the skunk had sprayed Hunter. Mr. Lee then says to Hunter, it's bath time for you. Why does Hunter need a bath? A, to play in the bathtub. B, to wash away the terrible smell the skunk had sprayed on him. Or C, to scare away the skunk that sprayed him. Why does he need a bath? Good work to wash away the terrible smell that the skunk had sprayed on him. You guys are doing awesome on this one. Okay, let's look at number four. What is the main lesson in a smelly skunk? So what can we learn from this? The lesson means that you're learning something. What can you learn from this story? A, skunks can spray you with a terrible smell. B, never let your dog off its leash during a walk. Or C, dogs should always take a bath when they're stinky. I want you guys to answer that on your own. What lesson can we learn from reading this story? Okay, number five. What did Mr. Lee do when he noticed a terrible smell? What did Mr. Lee do when he noticed a terrible smell? Let's go back and look in the passage to see exactly what he did. <clears throat> he stopped and noticed a terrible smell. He looked down as a skunk ran off. And then he says, oh, Hunter. So he stopped and looked down. Okay. He stopped and looked down. When Mr. Lee noticed a terrible smell, he stopped and looked down. And then if you want, you could add even more detail and say, and then he said, oh, Hunter, but we don't need to add that. This is plenty. Okay. All right. Number six, you guys are used to this. Number six is, what did you learn from a smelly skunk. Okay, remember you guys are going to read that all on your, or no, you're not gonna read it, sorry, you're gonna write that one all on your own. I'm just gonna get you started.
Okay. So we've been starting them this week in a smelly funk. I learned, you guys tell me what you learned, okay? I can't wait to read what you learned about in this story. Um, find anything that you want in the story that you thought was interesting and go ahead and copy that and that can be what you learned. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Love and hugs. Bye.